Hi, I'm Katie. I've been surrounded with vintage goodies most of my life. But just in the last 10 years, I've figured out just how much delight I get from having it in my home and looking at it for other people. Come along as I share my shopping adventures at thrift stores, estate sales, and sometimes even along the curb. I will also be showing some of my decorating projects that I've completed and how I have chosen to add vintage to my home for a modern granny chic look. I hope you will find joy along the way as we reawaken vintage. Morning, everybody. Well, it's morning for me. It could be midnight when you're watching this. We are at an estate sale today. We're about a half hour from our house. Let's see what we can find. We're heading on in. Oh, excuse me. Is everything regular price? Everything's half off. Half off today, okay. Yes, half off. Half off. Oh, very pretty. The more pretties. Look at those. I love the frames. We've got some pretty stuff, but I get a little too pricey. Okay, some dishes. I think they have some vintage Avon bottles. If they're half off, that might be a good deal. So I'm going to go over here. All kinds of pretty stuff. He said some of it's just a little pricey. This is amazing. $11. I don't know, guys. I don't know. Okay, so this is more my up my alley. <laughs> so let's see what we can find here. Just so much really fun. A lot of them have the boxes. I'm going to have fun here. I'll be back in a minute. Or actually, we'll just look together. Look at the little doggy. $2. So cute. We're going to get him. Oopsie. The sticker came off of me. I've got two of these lambs if anybody's interested for Easter time. I've never seen the box before. Cute little pig. That would be a dollar fifty. Oh yeah, this is fun. This is fun. These are great prices. I don't know what that is. Oh, matches. Oh my goodness. I don't know that that belongs here. It doesn't have a price. We're gonna get it. I can't get the lid back on. Okay, so I'll get my little box over here. Oh, we're gonna have some fun. These are gorgeous. Little bud face doesn't have a price. That one would still be $7.50. We're going to skip on that one. Okay, so we're going to get the little matches. We're going to get the little white dog. That's really cute for a dollar, right? Again, these are so cheap. Sorry, I'm putting you up and down. I will come back. This is a great sale. This is so much fun. I already had to put one box out. This is, <laughs> again, I'm looking for stuff that a lot of people aren't. Look at this thing. Super groovy. Ooh. They still want $5 for it. 1972. I gotta pull us out here a little bit. <laughs> I don't think I'll get it, but it's something. Old Peanuts planter bag. I'm not quite sure how old that thing is. They still want $4 for it. I'll probably skip. Old DVDs. This is cute. I've never seen a set like this, but it doesn't have a baker's mark. I don't think it's that old, so we're going to skip that. Some old dolls. What is this? Extra large table cover, but it's just paper. But new old stock. Super fun. Okay, we've got our old books. These are always fun. I don't know how much they want for it, though. I've got a lot of these, though. Pieces of dolls. I've got a lot of dolls like this that are going to be up for sale soon. Make sure to watch us. Here we go with our old Wednesday tag. Oh, I got a price tag stuck from something. Wednesday, Saturday, Friday. They're only $2 a piece. We'll get those. This is a... What is this, guys? I don't know what it is, but it has like a... I'm gonna get it. Still $5, still a lot. The hat boxes are just stunning and beautiful. There's nothing in them. And to try to sell them would be, right? But they're super cool. All right. Jack and Jill from April 1953. 
We went a dollar for it. I might have to get that too. Oh boy, guys. This is dangerous. Oh, it's fuzzy. That's super fun. Okay, let's see how much without getting all the pieces to fall. They want, I think with half price, it's just a dollar. Yeah, we'll get that. That's super fun. That's super fun. Okay, they got some artwork. Very pretty. Just prints. Old though, definitely old. I think I'll skip on those though. All right. Michael Jackson. All right, so this is the table. Sewing and clothes and doll stuff. This is super fun. Awesome little miniature stuff up here. Look at that little plastic. I might have to get that. Last piece of a china set I got for my eighth birthday in 1923. Oh my gosh. So sweet, so sweet. All right, so we'll get the little pink basket. Oh my gosh, this is just amazing little finds. Just so cool, guys. Oh my goodness. The chenille stuff always grabs my eye. Just a little baby chenille blanket. So pretty, so pretty. I gotta try to find a price tag on it does have one little stain, but that's not too bad. All right, I'll get back to you guys. Okay, next room. Super cute. Little salt and pepper set. It's just amazing. $4 for the set, guys. Mother Goose book. It's fallen apart. It needs to be rebound. I don't even know that it's, I don't know that that's the last page. But just super cute. 1962. Super cute. Little tiny little teal desk lamp. I'll have to see if it works. I'm assuming would it be missing like the top or something? Because I wouldn't think you'd normally want to see that. I got a lot of goodies. Now we're to the garage. I have some Christmas stuff, but I don't think it's old stuff. Oh, I got the wedding stuff. Coffee machine. There's lots and lots of tools. You always look for like a cool container though. Look at that. Take the fun. Okay. Nothing here. Let's go check out the Christmas when we can. All right, we're going to dig through here. What seems old? He seems kind of old, but maybe not. All Hummel ones. Let's see, there's no like, no price on here of how much the ones are. Let's see. I will find out when she's not busy. but it's cool looking. Okay. Nothing really old there. We got lots of boxes of stuff though. Lots of boxes of stuff. Okay, I'm gonna go through everything and I'll let you know at the end what I got. Okay, you got to see a lot of it while I was shopping, but we're gonna do a full wrap up. Again, I was super surprised at how much great stuff was still available. Second day, 50% off from the estate sale. Um, so, we already talked about, if I remember, this magnificent quilt. I don't, again, I'm so bad, I do not know the ages of stuff. The fabric always gets me thrown off. My gut is wanting to say it's not like, not like a hundred year old quilt. Um, just something tells me it's not. But this will be up for sale on our Reawaken Vintage 
not the page, but the group on Facebook. So if you're interested in it, again, you can always email me at reawakenvintage at gmail.com. But these um, otherwise will be up for sale. Again, I don't know. What do you think, guys? 80s? I, I just don't know. Okay. Anyway, let's keep going on. So besides the quilt, which I loved, I got some vases. We've got that one and this one. They're the same shape. You can tell they're different colors, which I love. And then to go with it is another vase. So we got all of those. Remember, everything was 50% off. I've got this huge swan. It is, as you can see, Roseville. Beautiful. That will be up for sale. And then all the little goodies in the box. We got some little St. Patrick's Day clip-on earrings. We've got our mug. I think it's federal glass. And then all the other little goodies in here are the Avon bottles that I showed you earlier. So all of those will be up for sale. And then in this box, we've got a vintage towel. We've got, okay, you're going to love this. Lori was with me. She actually found this. It says, for the women who demands the finest. Guys, they're wooden clothespins with like fur, like mink or something on the top of them. Is that not the most hilarious thing ever? I've never seen anything like it. So... <laughs> Okay, we've got the puzzle that's now falling out. That cute little puzzle. All right, really cute little thing for Christmas. We've got the grandma and grandpa salt and pepper shakers. Great condition. Remember, everything was 50% off. Let's see, how else can I dig in here? We've got the old desk lamp. I do not know if it works because the Light bulb that was in it was dead, so I'm going to have to test that. Wish me luck that that actually works. Oh, I'm going to pull this puzzle out. Again, I liked it because it was fuzzy. It doesn't take much to amuse me, does it? We have got one and only baby clothes item that I got. There was a ton of really cute ones, but I just didn't get any. And then we've got the little baby chenille blanket. Super sweet. Still don't know what this is. I'm assuming it's for cheese. I'm assuming. So we got that. We've got the Jack and Jill magazine. We've got just some random, these were in the uh, garage, some random Christmas ornaments. Nothing special or too bad, too good. And this is what I love. Milk glass lamp. Absolutely stunning. And it does work. I would love to keep it for myself, but I'm probably going to put it up for sale. So if you guys are interested in that, we've got a couple of the day of the week towels, a chef on a Saturday cooking. Who wants to do that? And again, on Wednesday, I wish we didn't have them all we, or we had them all. And then on Tuesday, Thursday. Okay. And then again, Hummel, little Hummel or uh, Christmas tree ornament. Super cute. So I encourage you all, if you have not yet Try out estate sales, especially the last day, because most of them will have 50% off. So if you're not one that really wants to spend a whole lot of money, you can get some great deals at the end. As always, we thank you so much for supporting us, for subscribing to us, for just your kind comments. Um, I don't do this as a profession. This is a, just a little side thing that I love to do. I do have a full-time job. Um, so as always, we thank you so much. Until later, bye.